Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a seven segment display using the ED SIM 51. First of all, let's take a look at uh, how a seven segment display is being constructed, is made. Um, here we have a diagram of a seven segment display. The seven segment uh, that we refer to are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And there's an eighth segment which is called the decimal point, which is located here. And the pins to the seven seg segment are located at the top or and the bottom. So pin uh, G, F, A, B, E, D, C, and D, P, decimal point. Each segment is actually an LED. So a seven segment uh, display is actually made up of group of LEDs connected together either at the anode or cathode. We'll come to this connection in more detail in a few moments. And here is an example of an actual seven segment display. Now, actually there are only two types of uh, seven segment. The first one is known as the common anode. And the reason uh, being is that all the anodes of the uh, segments are connected together to plus uh, volts. So if you want to uh, switch on this uh, segment or LEDs, you need to supply a logic zero uh, at all the terminals here. And uh, by doing that, you will get all the segment uh, lighted up. The second one is known as the common cathode. Uh, the reason being is all the cathode of the uh, uh, LEDs or seven segment are connected together and taken to ground. And to uh, light or to turn on the segments, you need to supply logic 1 to the inputs and you will get the 7 segment uh, turned on. Okay, so let's see how we can get the uh, 7 segment to display information. Um, I'm going to focus on the common anode uh, because this is the um, display that's being used in the ADSIM 51. So if you want to display the digit one or numeric value one, uh, you need to switch on uh, segment B and segment C. So uh, because it's common anode, so you need to um, supply a logic zero to the cathode of uh, segment B and segment C, and you will get uh, digit one on the uh, display. The rest uh, you supply a logic one and that will switch uh, all these LEDs off. Now for three, if you want to display the digit three, so you want A, B, C, D and G. And uh, so you have to put uh, zero, logic zero here, zero here, zero here, one, one, zero, and one, and uh, you get a three. Let's just do one more. And if you want a five, so you need uh, A, F, G, C, and D. So uh, A is zero, C here is zero, D is zero, F is zero, and G finally is zero, and the rest, uh, the rest are ones. All right, so you'll get a digit five. Now you can basically get uh, the, the, the seven segment to display 
uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'll stop here. I will do the uh, A, B, C, D, E, uh, and F uh, later on. Okay, so let's take a look at the ED SIM 51 7 segment display schematics. Now, here is the uh, schematic of the uh, 7 segment display for the ED SIM 51. Uh, I've taken this from the uh, ED SIM 51 uh, website. Uh, let me just uh, remove uh, some of this uh, information from here uh, so that we can focus on the, this, the uh, 7 segment. All right, so here I have removed the uh, LEDs and the A to D and other information. Now let's look at this. Now to select uh, the display, this is display zero, display one, display two, and display three. We need to uh, use this decoder to select uh, any of this display. So. To do that, the first thing we need to do is to select the decoder first. So in order to do that, you need to uh, supply a logic one from P0.7 or port 0 bit 7. You set it to a logic one, then that will select the decoder. And the next thing you need to do is to select one of these outputs so that you can select, so that it will select uh, one of these display. Now to do that, you need to use these two uh, inputs here, A0 and A1, connected to P3.4 and P3.3. Now, if you supply logic zero uh, at both inputs, then you will select display zero. If you put in uh, A01 and A10, you will select this display. And if you put A1 to a 1, A0 to 0, you will select display number two and finally if you put uh, both uh, A1 and A0 to 1 you will select uh, display number three. Now that's how you select the, the display. Let's look at how do we display the uh, digits. Now let's focus on using this display uh, number three. So we set uh, A1, uh, so A0 to 1, A1 to 1, and uh, CS to a 1. So that would be active now. Now to, to display any information on the uh, display here, we need to supply the uh, binary information from port 1 to the seven segment display here. Now I've um, drawn up a table. Um, so let's, for the common anode here, let's focus on this part of the table. I split them into half. And these are the binary patterns that you need. For example, for digit zero. Uh, segment A, B, C, and D must be at logic zero. And segment E, F, G, and D, P, the uh, decimal point. At, uh, so F is zero, E is zero, G is one, D, P is one. And if you translate this binary uh, code to its hex code, it will be, this will be zero. And this one here would be C. So the hex code that you need uh, when you program uh, the seven segment is C0 for digit zero. And uh, this applies, uh, the same applies to the rest of the digits. 
so uh, let's just do one more if you want a uh, digit 5 then you need to have uh, 0 1 0 0 that would be 2 and then 1 0 0 1 that would be 9 so uh, if you want a digit 5 then the hex value or the hex code will be 9 2 hexa but let's uh, look at uh, uh, logic I mean uh, digital uh, sorry this uh, zero digit zero so you want digit zero so you put in uh, zero 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 one one uh, that would then be transferred to this uh, display and you get a zero being displayed on the seven segment okay okay so let's check out the code uh, to test out the uh, seven segment display uh, as usual I'll start my uh, program at the zero zero H and this instruction here set bit uh, p0.7 that would be this pin here so you set a logic one set it to one and that will select the decoder then the next thing you uh, you need to do is to set these two bits uh, uh, as you remember earlier I said that these two bits here A0 and A1 will select one of those uh, display connected to the decoder so set bit P3.3 P3.3 which is A0 to a 1 set uh, P3.4 uh, that's A1 uh, set it to a 1 that would display the most significant uh, byte of display the uh, display number three and then this code here this line of code here c0 if you uh, recognize it uh, from the earlier discussion this is for digital digit sorry digit zero uh, the code for digit zero co copy that to a and from a you copy it out to port one that will display digit zero on the uh, seven segment display so let's check out the code now okay so we're back in the edsim uh, 51 i've uploaded the code here uh, let's quickly go through that so starting at zero zero hexa this one here will select the decoder uh, the next two instruction here uh, will select uh, this display here and then C0 hexa will give it we give us a, a digit 0 because that's the code for C0 hexa is the code for uh, digit 0 okay so let me assemble it there's no errors uh, for this round, I'm going to single step it. So, uh, so it's now at this uh, instruct this code here, this line of code here. So step it through. So that was set uh, p zero dot seven. You don't see much because uh, it's already in uh, ff, which is all one. So that's okay. Uh, p three dot three and p three dot four. That was select this digit here I'll step it one instruction at a time the next one uh, nothing seems to be happening we don't see much here it's okay uh, presume that this already selected this digit now I'm going to copy this value C0 hexa to the accumulator here yep as uh, the accumulator has got a C0 hexa. The next thing is that it will display up to uh, port 1. Yep, and we get the digit 0. All right, so uh, that's okay. So let me just stop it. Uh, 
Yep. Now let's try to display a different uh, digit here. Let's let's do a three. A three is B zero. So change that to a B. Uh, save it. It's always good to uh, save it before you, you run assemble it. All right. So now uh, I'll assemble it. And I'm going to just do a straight run. We should see a uh, three here. Yep, we do. All right, let's just try one more. Pause it. Reset it. Um, let's try a five. That is nine, two. So nine two uh, because it's not starting with uh, with a b c d e f uh, so we don't we don't need the leading zero so okay save it all right now assemble it no errors run it yeah and uh, we've got a five so I suggest uh, you get the code to run on the ADSIM 51. Play around with uh, selection of uh, the display here uh, by uh, playing with these two instructions and then the uh, the digits here, uh, you play around with this these two instruction. Okay, I'll stop here for this part of the video. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for this video. I've posted the code that I use to test the seven segment uh, in the link uh, given below. And uh, I'll be looking at how to get the seven segment to count in my next video. Until then, thanks for watching. Uh, see you again. Bye.